state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, behind the scenes, insights from cutting-edge users around the globe on World Business Review, on location. The wireless telecommunications industry has revolutionized how people interact. Rapid changes inherent within the industry make for some tough challenges. Let's take a look at some possible solutions with all tech communications. Wireless telecommunications has expanded within the U.S. marketplace faster than any previous technology or service. On a global basis, this expansion and acceptance is nothing short of phenomenal. One avenue that is helping to facilitate this expansion on a number of levels is the use of custom mobile portable communication towers. Anytime you need portable communications, whether it's for a lost child or a hurricane or a disaster or, or, uh, or an event, a special event where you have to have additional capacity to that system, you need a portable unit to come in and take that responsibility. These towers have multiple uses. Alltech communications products are used for a number of different reasons. Uh, our customers use them to test a site to see if they're going to build a permanent site. They use them as a temporary site while they're building their permanent towers. Uh, they use them for special events. They've been used for hurricanes. They've been used for tornadoes. They've been used for the recent uh, Murrow building, the 9-11. The uh, tragedy, they come in and they restore their communications on site. One of the more easily understood needs for this type of tower is when disaster strikes, either natural or man-made. With the recent events of September 11th, uh, portable tower trailers were deployed within 24 hours to restore communications. This helped the rescue workers and the people that were actually injured to help find them. These are important portable units. When most of us think of the term remote deployment, we conjure up images of farmland or jungle type terrain. Actually, the reality is much simpler. Remote deployment of a portable tower trailer is nothing more than putting a unit where there is no coverage. People confuse remote with being out in the field somewhere. Remote is for any application where you don't have any wireless coverage. So you could deploy these units in a parking lot in downtown anywhere, or you could put these out in a farmer's field. You will have coverage for your, your wireless applications. The wireless communications industry is at a very interesting stage, with the permanent tower providers facing challenges that mobile ones may be able to assist with. One of the issues that come up uh, are the zoning problems, and they can bring these units in and set them up as a temporary site while they're, they're permitting their permanent sites. They can use these portable units to um, help wireless commercial carriers get their sites online on time. The temporary units are easier to permit and get in so you have coverage and for most of us we really want to be using our cell phones. The average consumer rarely takes time to consider what all of those towers actually mean to them. People who own cell phones don't realize how their wireless cell phones work. They'll be traveling down the road, they'll see the towers, and they'll see them in their cities and, and along the highways, and they don't realize that as they're traveling down the road, their cell phone is sending off a signal. The closest cell site will pick up that signal and register it, so if you're 10 states away from whoever's calling you, they'll know that that's where that phone call needs to pick you up. As with many industries, flexibility is a key component for success. Alltech feels that being a custom provider of mobile towers helps them stay nimble in this ever-changing arena. For World Business Review on location, I'm Christopher Thomas. It's interesting to see how mobile phone systems can become even more flexible as well as be designed for specific situations.